Why would you even say something like that? Like, you can say, you could go on there and say, hey, it's probably, it won't be a big problem if they lose the game because they get another chance. That's probably the better way to say it. But when you say, oh, the Lakers should just go out there and, and AD should say his back spasm is cracking up or, I mean, it's coming up or, or, or LeBron should say his knee or ankle just to get out the game so they could lose and get a favorable matchup that they think is favorable in their way because they, they don't, nobody respects OKC. So when you come and do that, you just, the dignity of the sport, like you just throw it down the drain for no reason. Like literally, literally the Lakers said at the beginning of the season, they want Denver. They said it's Mike Malone is laughing and ha ha and kiki and things of that nature. If you got, if you want to be the best, you have to beat the best. So why would they want to duck that anyway? And now you come out here with the integrity of the sport and you go online as a media member, and you just say that that's just, man, as a, as a player, that's something you never want to do. You don't care who you're playing. Like, it might be a favorable matchup the other way to get further. What? So another team can knock them off. That's what we. That's what we're looking for to get to the third round. And we said if, and then they somebody like, oh, because some an injury could happen. That's not what we want to see as fans. Anyway, we want to see the best players at their best ability play the game. We don't want to see injuries to cause another team to win. We understand that it happens. But that's not what we want to see is paying fans of, you know, streaming services or fans that go to the game to watch it. You know, that's not what we want to see. So when you come out there and just outright tell them, no, oh, they should throw the game. And you just have that as an option. Now, if they lose and you say, oh, they lose the game, then, you know, is it all that bad? They still get another chance. To... I'm okay with that one. But when you just outright, he said, throw the game. He said, throw the game and everything that's going on Rudy already said it like there's gambling going on people fans are betting on this and they already are mad because anytime their team don't win or it don't, the bet don't go their way because they could literally bet the other way and, and won then they 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 try to find nitpick ways and, oh the referee didn't call this because of this or you know this player is obviously not playing because of it no come on now we have to do better especially as media member that Stephen A gets on freaking TV and outright fucking lies, fucking lies and, and try to blame it on the guy who asked the question. Like this wasn't something that was being brought up before. Like it was literally brought up by your colleague earlier on the show, an hour and a half before, two hours before yours. And everybody was talking about it. So for you to act like, the, the the guy who asked that question did it out of bad faith or just out of, you know, no knowledge of being a media member. You try to throw him under the bus. That was just outright wrong in your, I mean, and, and Stephen A does a lot of things to make it seem like he's better and he knows a lot better and things in that nature. And I just don't, I don't agree with him or like the way he goes about things that he's just better than everybody, which I don't think he is so much. Um, Man, that just was shitty, man. Shitty take, shitty thing by him. And then for him to come out there and not acknowledge it, what actually fucking happened. Like, we didn't fucking watch the show before. Or, like, people weren't talking about it. Like, this just came out the fucking blue the blue sky, blue and orange skies that he called it. Um, <laughs> that was fucking, that was, that was crazy and absurd, man. I didn't like it at all, man. So, so thank you for watching Come On Now, the podcast. Please be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and ring that bell so you get up-to-the-minute updates when we publish new content. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram at Come On Now Podcast and X and TikTok at Come On Now Pod. Thank you again for supporting this channel.